Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And today is Wednesday, that means it is Pack Battle Day versus Average Joe. We do it here every Wednesday on the channel. Joe and I face off, and this week we are facing off with Heritage High Number 2022 Baseball. And as you can see, I was able to get this for a super low price of $17. Uh, I've seen this product on sale at Walmart recently, and so could not help but pick one up. You guys know I love the throwback retro designs. The best thing about today's show is that I am joined by the pack opening machine. Hi. <laughs> there he is. All right. Thank you for joining me. The pack opening machine is home from uh, camp this uh this week. Uh, there's no summer camp this week because of 4th of July, so we're having a good time. We put together a pirate ship this morning, and that turned out very well. You enjoyed that, I I think. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> that was a lot of fun for me as well. And uh, I asked the pack opening machine if he would join me for today's pack battle, figuring the two of us should be able to beat Average Joe. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. So we're going to get into this, and of course uh, I've got the two animals here. Joe is represented by a yellow cassowary. This is a, a giant human-sized flightless bird that lives, uh, I think it lives in New Zealand maybe? I don't know. I'll have to ask Leaf Fan down under. Maybe you can fill me in as, if he's ever encountered a cassowary down there. They've got deadly razor-sharp talons, and uh, besides that they're quite large and kind of ferocious, and I have a hard time balancing that one. I'm represented by the tortoise which I found out one of our neighbors actually keeps tortoises, not uh, big tortoises that you could ride on, like uh, uh, this one is, you know, the kind of size that a child could ride on. But, uh, you know, little tortoises, you know, the size of my two hands together, about that big. But still, you know, the round shells and everything in there, they're very cute. I mean, tortoises are, are very cool animals, and you don't see them that much. And they feel like sort of throwback animals to me. So it seemed like the tortoise was... Uh, Good choice for me, so that's what I'm going to be today. We'll see if the tortoise can beat the cassowary, and uh, we'll get into this and see how we do with Heritage. Of course, we are looking for autographs and relic cards, hoping to find those. We could also find some uh, 1973 Topps comic-type cards. We have pulled those from this product before, and they're pretty neat. I like them. So are you enjoying summer camp? Yeah. Yeah, what have you been doing at summer camp? Can you tell people about some of the things you get to do? I've been doing swimming and rock climbing. I really like rock climbing mm -hmm. because um, there are two choices of like types of walls. Two choices of walls, really? Yeah, and on one of them you need a harness and on the other you don't. Okay. Okay, well that sounds really cool. I didn't know you had two types of uh, choices for the rock climbing. That's pretty awesome. Do you want to mix those up in the way that you always do mm -hmm. so that they're in some kind of special order for us? So summer camp lasts until uh, till sometime in August, I think mid-August or something like that. So you still have about a month or so of summer camp left. You're going to have a great time there. And they have lots of other, uh, they have field trips there too that you've gotten to take, which is uh, pretty awesome. A, a really good camp, and I'm really glad that you get to go there, too. All right, what do you think? Hmm. Got a good order you like? I'm trying to sort them into which one's heaviest. Oh, well, good luck. I couldn't, I couldn't really feel one that felt heavier to me. All right. All right, we're getting close. Getting close. All right. Excellent. There we go. Thank you for putting those in the order you want. You're going to open one. I will start opening one as well. We'll see how we do here. We're trying to beat Average Joe. The way this works is Joe is going to open the same product that we are opening over here today. And uh, Joe is uh, going to show his opening on his channel, and we are going to show our opening on this channel. And we're going to see which one of us gets better cards. You guys, the audience, gets to decide. You let us know in the comments who you think is the winner. And they are crowned victorious. George Springer starts off our booster box, booster box, our blaster box today. George Springer from the Blue Jays, second Blue Jays player there. Matt Chapman, formerly of Oakland. Mark Canha from the Mets. J.P. Sears and Joe Dunand, rookie card there from the Marlins. Logan Allen 
and Michael Kopech from the White Sox, and Jamai Jones. Finally, we get an Orioles card. Good to see that. Second Orioles card. Nice Ryan Mountcastle Gold Cup card. I don't think I have that one, or if I do, I don't remember seeing it. You want to start in on another pack, and I'll uh, get going on this. Mm -hmm. All right. Start this pack with Trey Turner from the Dodgers there. Good to see that one. Daz Cameron. And then we got Elias Diaz looking very thoughtful. Elias Diaz looks like he could be standing in a field somewhere looking out at the setting sun and thinking about his crops. Yes. All right, we got uh, Mike Miles, rather, Miles McCullis there, and sideways card of Denelson Lamette from the Rockies. Mackenzie Gore there from the Nationals. Joey Bart, good catcher for the Giants, rookie card of Royce Lewis. And another rookie card there of Jack Lopez from the Tigers. No inserts so far. Of course, Heritage is a, a kind of a tough product for inserts. You don't usually get them. And when you do, uh, they could be big ones, though. We got Cooper Hummel here from the D-backs. Nice rookie card there. Brian S Bryson Stott, another nice rookie card from the Phillies there. Michael Chavis and Stephen Kwan, rookie card. Ryan Feltner from the Rockies, rookie card there. Taylor Walls, who looks very intense. What do you think is going on there with that guy? Hmm. It's a pretty intense look from Taylor Walls. Adam Frazier and Gilberto Celestino from the Twins. We finished that one off with Drew Smiley from the Cubs. You want to do another pack and I'll do one too? All right, here we go. Let's see how we do in these next packs. So far, we have not pulled anything that would topple Average Joe, despite us knocking the cassowary over. Just by sheer will, we have really not pulled anything that I think Average Joe would have to be too concerned about. Thank you very much, Pack Opening Machine, for all your help. You are the best at opening packs, no question about that. <laughs> Did you enjoy the fireworks the other night? Yeah. Were they pretty good? Yeah. I thought they were pretty good this year. You still have your, uh, your glow bracelets that you've been wearing since 4th of July. You want to show those in front of the camera? I bet people would like to see those. They're not glowing, of course. You can just show your bracelets. Here they are. No longer glowing, but uh, they are still pretty cool to wear. Yep, all the way up there. Pretty awesome. Marco Gonzalez starts this pack off from the Mariners. And then we got Jake Arrieta. And it looks like we got one of those comic cards. That's pretty cool. Kevin Plawecki. And then we get to one of the comic cards. It is Yaz, Carl Yastrzemski there. Of course, Triple Crown winner. That's what he's doing with the crown there, 1967. Carl Yastrzemski, that's a pretty good card. Clayton Kershaw from the Dodgers and Tony Romero. Corey Seager looking extremely thoughtful. Corey Seager just uh, maybe he's about to write a poem. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Maybe an ode to the Rangers from Corey Seager there. I don't know what's going on with him. Elliot Ramos from the Giants and Mitch Garver there. I'll get into this next pack. And you want to start on opening the, uh, the pack after this? Okay. We got uh, Carlos Correa there looking delighted. Could not be happier for him playing for the Twins there. Chris Bryant from the Rockies and Eduardo Escobar. We got Brian Anderson, and uh, there is an insert for us. It's Billy Williams on a highlights card. We finally get some kind of an insert out of this pack. Put that over there. Andrew Benitendi from, Benitendi from the Yankees and Garrett Crochet from the White Sox. Jackie Bradley Jr. and a rookie card of Jason Krizan from the Giants. Pack opening machine handing me the next one, and it starts off with a really good card. That's a nice rookie card. Whenever it has that symbol there, that means it's a rookie. And that is a nice rookie card of Spencer Torkelson. That's a pretty good card. He's a good player for the rookie. Tigers. Another rookie, Alexander Wells from the Orioles. Nice to see. Is that a rookie too? Yeah. Oh, we're getting a lot of them. Kyle Bradish, another Orioles rookie. Pretty sweet. Joe, is that another rookie? Yeah. Wow. Joe Perez there. Now we get a uh, sideways insert card, Towers of Power. And that is, uh, I believe, Judge and Stanton. Yes, it is. Judge and Stanton, Towers of Power. So I'll put that in the insert pile. Is that another rookie uh, card? Yes. Holy cow, we're getting a lot of those. Brendan Donovan from the Cardinals. And that is not a rookie. It's Starling Marte and Zach Greinke. And then Frankie Montaz from the Yankees. How many packs do we have left? Two. Just two? All right. Well, you go to it with that one. And, uh, man, we have not pulled much out of these. A couple of uh, inserts here, but uh, really nothing that special. The Torkelson Rookie is probably the best card we've gotten out of here so far. Thank you, Pack Opening Machine. Trevor Story also looking rather pensive there. I don't know if he's 
reconsidering his life choices. Doesn't want to be with the Red Sox. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, Trevor. They aren't having a good year, so you can kind of understand why he feels that way. Mark Kolazvari from the Reds. Is that a rookie? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. We're getting a lot of rookies. Who's that? Kevin rookie. Smith from the A's. Another rookie. Thanks for calling that one out. Dane Dunning from the Rangers. Nice and action shot. That is pretty cool. World Series MVP, George Soler from the Braves. Another rookie. insert card. That is a rookie. Matt Brash from Seattle. Rookie. Otto Lopez, rookie. Rookie. Holy cow, look at all these rookies. Connor Overton from the Reds, looking very self-satisfied. And Kendall Graveman from the White Sox finishes that pack off. We've only got one pack left. You want to see how we do with that last pack? Right now, I don't think we've really got too much to to brag about. We have pulled a lot of rookies. I'll, I'll give them that. That's uh, pretty great, but uh, I think Torkelson's probably our best pull so far. All right, let's see what we have here. Chris Sale, good pitcher there. He is with the uh, Red Sox. Chris Sale starts things off for us. And uh, Rookie. You're right. Joan Adon from the Nationals. Rookie. Another rookie. Peyton Henry, nice to see that. Rookie. Wow. Elvis Paguero from the Angels. Look at all these rookies coming out of here. Nick Castellanos from the Phillies, George Lopez, and Carlos Rodon. Rocky. Yes, it is. Sh Simon Muziati from the Phillies. And our final card rookie. is also a rookie. You're right. Gasoki Kato from the Mets. Wow, so that was kind of a, I got to say, that was kind of a weak box. Torkelson was easily the best card. I'm going to go through here real quick and see if there are any uh, high numbers. I think we want cards in the 700s would be high numbers, and I, I don't know if we pulled any. There's one, so that's pretty good, but uh, so far there's another one. So we got a couple of high numbers so far, but uh, and there's one more. See if we can get at least... I know you get at least three, but I would like to get more than that. Let's see what we have here. Any more high numbers in here? Anything 700 or above is what we're looking for to qualify as a high number for this set. Doesn't look like it. We just got the three. Was hoping for a fourth one. I thought one. I saw a 7-8. A 7-8? Yeah, a 7. Yeah, a 708. Hmm. Well, we did get a few, so that counts for something. And one of them is Clayton Kershaw, so that's pretty good. Our inserts were not spectacular. George Solar, Towers of Power, and a Yaz comic, as well as Billy Williams' Highlights card. I think Torkelson was our best card. I'll put that back on screen for people to see. Have a look at Average Joe's video and see what you think of his. And get back to us here in the comments and let us know if you think the tortoise was victorious or if Average Joe's cassowary pecked open that shell of the tortoise. I don't know. Not sure who's going to win today. We'll have to check out Average Joe's video and see what we think. Mm -hmm. All right, we will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Anything Can Happen Day, so who knows what's going to happen on the show tomorrow. I mean, I know, but nobody else knows. Do you know? No. No. I haven't told anybody, so nobody knows. But uh, Anything Can Happen Day is tomorrow. And then, of course, Friday. What happens Friday on the channel? Mm. Dorking with dice. Yes. Yes. Dorking with dice. That's right. All right. Thanks so much for joining us today. I had a great time, and I hope you did, too. We'll be back tomorrow, and as always, happy collecting.